AMD publishes bad benchmarks? Sure. AMD released benchmarks for their new Zen 3 chips, the 5800 XT and the 5900 XT, apparently binned versions of the 5800X and the 5950X, which claim that gaming performance is on par or better than Intel's 13th Gen i5-13600KF and the i7-13700K, respectively. They achieved these misleading results by pairing each CPU with a three-year-old entry-level GPU the Radeon RX 6600, which effectively neutralizes the performance difference of each CPU by heavily GPU limiting their tests. Hardware Unbox called out the bogus benchmarks and published results of their own tests using both the RX 6600 and the RX 7900 XT, which showed significant differences in the performance of the various CPUs when, perform- uh, when GPU limitations were less of a factor. And the discussion question is, is AMD's marketing lying about the performance of their CPUs or simply setting up a scenario that points, uh, paints their hardware in the best possible light? Does it matter? I mean, it matters. Um, it matters. But it also is why we have independent media and why we, we need to take... The funny thing to me about this one is that AMD doesn't like have to do this. Yeah. They're doing really well in yeah. the CPU game right now. And I, uh, it's it's so... Uh, the, uh, it seems com- like an unnecessary risk. Back to my Qualcomm meeting, it's, um, you know, when someone's coming in from a position of strength, um, like they are, you know, with their battery life claims and all of that... Hey, you can go to sleep. It's very rare. It's very rare that they they are the ones that are, are fudging. You know, like NVIDIA was in such a dominant position for so long that they started actually creating tools like their PCAT which completely changed the game for power monitoring for GPUs. Mm-hmm. Uh, their FCAT, which completely changed the game for monitoring uh, frame Frames. times. Yeah. Um, they, they came out with these tools and equipped independent media to better validate that their solution was way better. And that was in their best interest. So, so normally, when you're in a position of strength, you're the one who is like working hard to make sure that independent media coverage correctly identifies how much butt you're kicking yeah right it's very unusual for the leader to come in and just fool around like this and this is one of those ones that i kind of look at and i go there's no way that the technical people liked this like i've I've met plenty of people at amd over the years Uh, there's no way the technical anyone liked this I don't even think that this is particularly aligned with AMD's overall behavior as a company. So I have a hard time believing that Top Brass thought this was okay. This seems like one of those slipped through. This seems like one of those middle layer things where someone in a de- with a with decision making power of some sort was Had like some bonus structure. They're trying to hit something. Maybe they're trying to. They're really trying to sell a bunch of these chips for some reason and pushed this through and. AMD needs to go back internally and figure out what happened here and make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, no, this is this is over the line for me, for sure. This is past this is beyond presenting your product in the best light and this is this is into misleading territory. This does look like I, I just found the actual chart. Uh, do you want to go to my screen? I don't know why it doesn't. I still uh, don't I do. have a, like, it, It's pretty suspicious. <laughs> What? <laughs> All results are up to. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty suspicious. They have other charts as well. Uh, I don't remember exactly where they are. There we go. Which also feel... What? Pretty suspicious. <laughs> what is that chart? <laughs> All results are up to again, by the way. Yeah, sure. All right. 100% of what? Uh, the 13600 whatever yeah. KF. Yeah. Yeah. 